We're talking bipolar and a very unfortunate situation that comes with being a day trader. And if you're a beginner, I just wanna give you kind of a heads up of what to expect and you are gonna be bipolar. And I say that jokingly, but at the same time, I think it is bipolar because it's crazy how in the same allotment of time, which is not very long, you can go from feeling one way to all of a sudden 180 polar opposite feeling in another way. And it's pretty crazy, but that's the kind of idea here that I wanna to convey to you. And on that note, I'm not gonna be talking in theory. So this is not a situation where, well, I, I think this could happen, or I think this is how, no, no, no. I'm gonna show you some of my personal day trading results. And I suppose I can sit here and say that you're guaranteed to experience this because I suppose we're all different. But given you're a human, given we all have the same emotions, I'm very confident that for the vast majority of you, you're gonna, experience this, so I just want you to know what to expect. So to set up the context here of this trade, I was trading stock SAVA, and I wanted it to go down. So in other words, I was looking to short the stock. And very quickly, if you're a beginner, new to the markets, shorting or going short means that you can make money when prices go down. Super crazy, I get it when you first hear it, but yes, you can make money if a price goes down. It doesn't necessarily need to be a stock, it could be in any market, the crypto market, but if something goes down in value, because you're short, you would make money. So that's the context here. SAVA was the stock, I wanted to see it go down, so I was looking to short the stock, and let's see what happens, and I'll pick it up here with the live trade footage. 49.50 getting in there, and we'll see if this thing wants to roll back over. If I'm wrong, um, then I'll still be green, and that's the key idea here is that uh, you know, if I'm right, am I gonna make a ton of money? I'm not, but the main question I'm asking myself is, okay, well, what happens if I'm wrong? And if I'm wrong, I am still gonna be green. And I, and where I am now, I just wanna stay green on, green on the day. So that's my primary concern. Again, I wanna say that right now before myself or anybody else knows what happens. If I'm wrong, I'm still gonna be green because I, I know what I'm gonna say to myself if this actually goes in my favor and I, and I I could be sitting there and saying, well, geez, you know, had I had I done more, I could have made so much more. Well, yeah, that, that's true, Clay, but you, you forgot about the fact that right now you're, you're not quite sure what's gonna happen. So you wanna make sure that you do stay green. So that is why doing 100 shares, because if I'm wrong, I'm still gonna be green. All right, so what you just saw there was just basics of risk management via position size. Meaning with this stock, you saw me, I just did 100 shares. And it's kind of funny if you caught the one comment, I was kind of already preparing myself for what I'm about to see is, you know, I, I can already see myself potentially regretting saying, oh, you know, I only did 100 shares, right? Because with smaller position size, if you are right, you're, you're gonna not make that much money. But of course, if you're wrong, then you're not gonna lose that much money. But as of now, this is the context. I went short 100 shares, and then you heard me say, all right, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm just waiting for these voices to start to show up, but let's see how things continue to play out. Wow, that fast has turned around on me. I'm not quite at the white flag area, but crazy. It was there knocking on the door, knocking on the door. And now I'm looking at potentially taking a loss on it, which is okay, right? Now I feel really good, right? Now I'm like, okay, well, geez, I'm glad I only did 100 shares. When I was knocking on 49, sure, the voice shows up that says, oh, Clay, you should have done more than 100. You should have done more than 100. But I can tell you right now, I'm thinking, Clay, good job. I'm glad you only did 100. Because things are not looking so good right now. But all right, I will go ahead and pause. And if it looks like I'm gonna have to take the, the loss, I will get the video rolling at that point. So as we end of the video, you can see I'm feeling fantastic. I feel great about only doing 100 shares because as you saw, the prices started to go back up and from a short perspective, that's not good because you wanna see prices going down. But prices going up, it was teetering, literally right on the edge of where I would have had to wave that white flag to get out. So at that point, I mean, you heard me saying, I feel great right now, I'm so glad I only did 100 shares because it's looking like I'm gonna be wrong and if I'm wrong, hey, you know what? It's gonna be a, a very, very small loss. I'll still be green on the day. So wow, I am so glad, so glad I did 100 shares. However, the trade is not over. So what happens next? Well, let's take a look. So yeah, now I am right back in that spot. Clay, why did I only do 100 shares? 
right? Isn't that crazy how, how the voices just come and go, come and go? But when you're aware of them, you kind of just laugh at them. So the voices, having the voices, there's no harm in that, right? That, that's, that happens. The problem is when people are not aware of the voices, right? So the voices will never go away. You just gotta be aware of them. And now you see me just 180. Previous clip, oh yeah, good, good job. And now I'm all like, why did I only do 100? Why did I do 100? Same trade, same stock in a matter of, I don't know, three or four minutes, going from feeling confident in yourself, glad to, oh, what did I, why did I only do that? And the crazy part here was that I, I was making money, yet that was the part where I was most frustrated at, right? I mean, you would think, well, Clay, why, why were you so happy when you're about to lose money, but you're all bummed out because you're you're about you're, you're making money? Well, that and that's kind of how greed also works, right? Think about it. Greed has making me feel like I did something wrong because, well, I'm not making as much money. I'm still making money, but not as much. So that's what everything focuses on. And then you almost feel like I, I did something wrong. And yes, in hindsight, you can argue from a, a math perspective, well, you did do something wrong, Clay, because you only did 100 shares, so your win's not gonna be that big. But once again, from a math perspective, and what that's leaving out is, well, hindsight, because you had just seen that had I done bigger share size, I would have been, oh, so angry. Just, oh, why did I do such big size? I'm about to get stopped out. I'm gonna wipe away all my green on the day. This is terrible. So yeah, I should have done more, but the should have is all based on well, hindsight, but as you saw there, when you don't know what you don't know, and at those times, your emotions are gonna be all over the place. But as I also noted, you just gotta be aware of the emotions and just laugh at them. Laugh at yourself for being bipolar, but stick to your trading plans and just understand that, yeah, it's easy to be frustrated. It's, it's easy to feel like you did something wrong because you only did 100 shares. But what I liked about so much about this example and why you know I'm glad I caught on video was that in the, at least in that very same trade, you can see when it was knocking on the door, potentially knocking me out, I was feeling actually very good about that 100 share decision. But then a few minutes later, I'm feeling not so good about it. So yeah, I'm bipolar. Odds are you're gonna be bipolar. But the trick here is just admitting, yeah, you're gonna have emotions all over the place. So be aware of it and uh, you know, just defend against the emotions. And you know, a great defense mechanism for me is just kind of make a joke of it, laugh about it, be like, yeah, I'm all over the place, but at least you're still trading with the plan and trading with the structure, and that's definitely the most important part. So hopefully you got a, a little bit of a laugh out of this one, but also just uh, you know offer up something to expect because it's very possible. And like I said, I can't guarantee it, but I think for the vast majority of you, uh, it will ultimately you know play up in some form or another. And before I go, hey, grab yourself a t-shirt or claytrader.com forward slash gear. Got sizes for everybody. Uh, free shipping. So if you like the shirts, if you want to pick up some gear, then definitely go to that link and uh, help support the channel in that way. Really do appreciate it. So as far as these videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, if you like for me to you know kind of combine these live trades with some sort of learning lesson, then as always, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave comments down below. Uh, but those uh, you know two things go a long way in communicating to, uh, to me that you enjoy these sorts of videos. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I'll continue to do them. Then also check out the channel as a whole. I'm not gonna say subscribe after just watching one video. That seems a little aggressive. But what I will ask is, hey, if you like this video, check out other videos on the channel. And at that point, if you like what you see, then I would love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. But everybody take care. Remember, it's perfectly normal to be bipolar as a trader. Just gotta be aware of it. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. 
Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.